Hello, my name is James Oliver. I'm a tools and automation engineer at Rancher Labs. Today we'll be demonstrating live migration with shared storage, a feature now supported by Rancher VM. Live migration is useful for a variety of purposes. For instance, load balancing. Guests can be moved to hosts with lower usage when their host becomes overloaded. It also facilitates hardware maintenance. When we need to upgrade or replace hardware on a node, we can safely relocate guests elsewhere. These are but a few use cases for guest migration. Let's start by creating a three node Kubernetes cluster on Rancher VM using RKE. For those not aware, RKE stands for Rancher Kubernetes Engine and is a dead simple Kubernetes installer that makes standing up and tearing down Kubernetes clusters a breeze. Let's give each virtual machine one vCPU, a gig of RAM, three instances, and I'll add my public key. And click OK. I'll now pause the video while I install Docker and Kubernetes on our newly created virtual machines. And we're back. So I've successfully installed a Kubernetes cluster on our virtual machines. I've also installed the Kubernetes dashboard just so we can have visual representation of what's running. We'll see some of the pods and components of RKE. So now, let's open a Node VNC console and a secure shell on one of these nodes and trigger a live migration and see what happens. So we're currently scheduled on node 1. Let's target node 2 to force a live migration. And we're actually streaming all of the memory pages from the old virtual machine on the old host to the new virtual machine. So this could take a few moments. So the no VNC console has entered a reconnecting state. This is the telltale sign that we just switched from the Unix socket on the old host to the new host. However, we preserve the network identity of the virtual machine. So any network-based connections, such as Secure Shell, are going to be uninterrupted. If we go back to Rancher VM, we see that we're now re-entered a running state, and the virtual machine is now located on node 2. Additionally, dashboard should not show any issues with connectivity to the node. Now, the migration process is pretty forgiving. Um, you can enter a migration and then decide you don't want to do that. And you can cancel it, and that will uh, not affect the user workload. Um, of course, the any setting is the absence of any specific scheduling rule. It will just place the virtual machine in wherever there are sufficient resources. And that's really it. So, thank you guys. And talk to you later.